So I am back with another plan with me video. So this is my November weekly plan with me. And if you missed my November monthly that I filmed just a day or two ago, really it's on the same day, not even five minutes, but you know, I shared them on different dates. I will leave that in a card above. So how we do the weekly plan with me's is I like to share the completed spreads from the previous month and then we set up the upcoming month. So that would be October. So let's go to those October spreads. Okay, so let me zoom in. I love this kit. I don't think it got nearly as much attention as it should have. So this is Fall Fable. It is still in the shop. The shop is still open. I'm not closing the shop. Usually I, cl I close the shop because I'm prepping for the new releases for the next month. Well, I'm not doing that right now because the shop does not open for new releases until the week of Thanksgiving. So I'm leaving it open a little longer in case you want to get your Christmas stickers and all of that if you kind of missed any of that. So this is how I set every week up. If you've never watched one of these videos, this is it right here. I've got the way that I like my planner to be set up and this is it. So this is the Erin Condren Horizontal in case you did not know that. That is my planner of choice. I use a planner for the to-do list because my planner, I have said this since day one, is my brain on paper. If it's not written down, I'm probably going to forget it. So I do to-do lists every single day. They're not pretty. Things are marked off. They're scratched off. I have realized that my planner is supposed to be used and loved. That's the purpose. It's not like the layout is cute. I like it to look different, different every week. But when it comes to using whiteout or crossing things out, I'm going to do that to make it benefit me. So if you have a new planner, because Erin Condren planners, if you have one of these in the very beginning, it's very intimidating because there's so much to it. You don't even know where to start. and You don't want to mess it up. You can't mess the planner up. There's always white out that you can use to fix your issues. So this is how I have everything set up. It gives me happiness to mark off a to-do list item. Okay, second week here is Secret Garden. And as you see, I'm gonna talk a little bit. I guess I'm feeling the need to talk today. You will see that I front load weeks a lot of times. A lot of times you will see a lot of to-dos on this right-hand side, but then when I get to the weekend, I don't have a lot written. And that is because it's not that I'm not doing things on the weekend, it's because like it might be one thing. Like football game at Brooklyn. Okay, that's gonna take a quite a bit of time. It's not drop something off at the post office or anything like that. So it's usually big events on the weekend and that's why I can't get all the small to-dos done. Third week is apple picking. Love this. You guys seem to like this as well. And I think it's one of those, I reformat, reformatted this and re-released it this year. And I think it was one of those kits that was kind of overshadowed the first time I came out with it. But I really like it. It's one of my favorites. I love the reds and the mint and the pink together. Okay, fourth week is pumpkin spice. I'm not going to say it. Well, yeah, I am. I say this every time I'm looking at one of these. If you watch my monthly, I said it. This is one of my favorite kits. Probably one of my top five all-time favorite kits that I've ever created. I, I, something about it I just love. And then last but not least is Halloween Party. I mean, how stinking cute is that ghost? He is cute. So I'm filming this on the 29th. I can mark off Plan With Me videos because we are getting that done right now. So... That is how October was laid out. And now we're going to November. For November, we have four weeks to, to set up. The first week here is Halloween week. 31st here is Halloween. So for that one, I am going to use trick or treating. How cute is this little dog dressed up as a ghost? Okay, so in my planner, you might wonder, what sheets do you use for the horizontal? I always use H01. And if you are on a, if you're on the trick or treat weekly kit page, it will have a description of everything over here. So it'll have H01 and say horizontal backgrounds and checklists. So this is for the horizontal. Then I use 02, which is my date covers, my to-do list. 
and all of that and then the deco sheet how cute is the deco okay so those are the ones i use every single week h01 02 and 4. so that is what i'm using for the first week trick or treating So week one is now finished and I think it looks adorable. I know I say this all the time, but I never know what a sticker kit looks like until I film a plan with me video and I sit down and I lay it all out with you guys. So we find out what they look like together unless you plan ahead of me. Um, I always try to visualize when I'm creating a kit, like what the colors are gonna look like together, but I never know until I sit down with y'all what it actually looks like. So I have all of these left. So I like to keep the deco sheets in case I want to randomly place them on things. So I'll put that to the side. This is sheet two and then H01. So I used almost all of H01 and a lot of 02. But you could definitely, as you see, the way I have formatted my sticker sheets, you could get two weeks out of this. Okay, you just wouldn't, you could kind of split up your background stickers and not use them every day like I did. And then you've got plenty of um, the checklist. You've got an extra set of date covers, another seven to-dos, lots, all of the dates that you could use, and enough deco. So you could definitely get two weeks out of a sticker kit. If you hear that beeping, it's my coffee pot going off. So that looks super cute. Now we're moving, we are moving to week two for week two, Cozy Autumn. I think this is so cute. This was a big seller in the shop this year. And look at the deco. Look at the little fox. I mean, it's so cute. Okay, so Cozy Autumn is what we are using for week two.
my battery died, so sorry about that. So, week number two is done, and you guys, <laughs> this one took a lot longer than the first week because of the fact that usually the sticker kits that I use or sometimes are the ones that are messed up or they're not going to peel as well. So that's exactly what this kit was. So it is usable, but I check every sticker sheet before I put it in somebody's order. So I will make sure that it's going to peel nicely and all of that. And this one does not. Like these, I should have pulled from the bottom because those are, but these top ones did not. Then over here, look at this. And usually what this means is my blades need to be changed in a cutter. So see, it peels, but not nearly as clean. So that's why this was used for myself. So it's usable, but you got to be delicate with it. So all of these, what I have left, put that deco over there to use. And it looks super cute. So love the color color. So it looks super cute. Love the color combination of this like deep maroon and dark green. Looks cute. And I don't write anything down in these videos. That's kind of why I do the before and after. So you can kind of see what I did write down after I set the um, weekly spreads up. So just in case you were wondering. So that is the second week. For the third week, we are going to use pumpkin. Love this one. Look at the deco. I'm a huge fan of all the pumpkins in this pumpkin kit. So that is what we are using for week three, pumpkin. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for show. Sure. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone wait to start writing down all of my stuff for these weeks because I feel so far behind because I don't know if I said this in this video I'm filming this on the 29th which means I should have already written in my planner because I like to write things ahead of time the month of October just slipped away for me I did not realize that November was in a few days so I cannot wait to start writing things down so all of this I have left Put that deco to the side to use for later. So now for the last week, which is Thanksgiving week, I am using Give Thanks. So this you really can't see on camera, but it's got a lot of florals, leaves, pumpkins, apples, some quotes, and um, stripes. So I just left this one as a pattern-based kit, nothing that was like a focal point on the backgrounds. And there is 02, and there's the deco. 
So that is what I'm using for the last and final week for November, Give Thanks. The last week is now finished. I think it looks simple and cute. So, and I'll put this to the side and then these two here. So, now I've got everything done for the month of November. So before we end this video, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna look at the completed spreads for October and the prepped spreads for November. Oops, excuse me with all that. I'm trying to get everything organized over here. Okay, so for the first week of October, this is Fall Fable. Second week was Secret Garden. Third week was Apple Picking. Fourth week, I forgot there were five weeks in October, Pumpkin Spice, and then Halloween Party. And then the four weeks for November to start the first week, which is Halloween week, this is Trick or Treating. Second week is Cozy Autumn. Third week is pumpkin. And then fourth week is give thanks. So all of these are available in the shop. The link is always in the description below. If you've never purchased from my shop before, use the code WELCOME10, W-E-L-C-O-M-E, -E, the number 10, one zero. I will put that at the bottom for 10% off of your first order. And once you place an order with my shop, you will get a code that you can use for, for any order from that point on as your discount. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. Oh, I didn't forget the, I forgot the question for the day. The question for today is, what is something that you were looking forward to in December? What is something you are looking forward to next month, December? Let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. And just like I said on the last video, you guys, that is very important to do right now for YouTube because i have noticed this y'all i have to i try my best to go around and look at stats and try to figure out how to keep growing my business and my channel everything and i have noticed that 
content just is not getting shared and there's not nearly as many views on YouTube right now. And that is from huge con content creators down to small ones like me. So it's important that you comment and or give the video a thumbs up just to show that you are interacting. So I would greatly, greatly appreciate that because I know for me, I would get on YouTube and I don't even see the people that I'm subscribed to. I have to go to their channel to see if they've posted new videos because they're just not even sharing things that you've subscribed to. So I hope that you guys have a blessed week and until next time, bye guys.